Hey everyone, how's it going? We're Stephen Gamer back with another Soul Hunters video and we just got a new update guys So a couple of new heroes were released to the game uh, Some of them were already released, uh, Valon, Firehawk, um, Mog I know you could have already gotten those heroes in the shops, now you can get them in the chapters But they also released Soraya, Adeline and Suki So let's break those down a little bit real quick I already have told you guys about Soraya and Su uh, Adeline If you watch my live streams then you already know about those heroes Adeline I think is the best out of all these heroes were released She's a beast. Soraya is actually pretty good too. But today, I actually want to talk to you guys a lot about Tsuki. I want to break him down a little bit, show you guys what he does in some battles, break down his abilities so you guys can kind of get a better idea if you want him on your team or not. If you should invest your, uh, you know, gems, your money on this hero or you should wait and save your resources for somebody else. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's break down Tsuki real quick and see what this guy is all about. Now, first things first. Yes, this guy guy is a guy a lot of people think that this is a female character but no guys this is a male character uh the t i'm pretty sure is silent so you call him suki and uh he's actually really really cool looking he's a pretty good hero to have like a lot of cool abilities which we're gonna break down a little bit i have him maxed out enchanted and everything seven stars so he's ready to go for me and i'm gonna show you guys how you should use him because he comes in handy in a lot of different situations all right Let's get into this battle and see what his abilities are all about, guys. So, starting off the bat, he starts off with a pretty basic attack. Uh, Cherry Branch is the second ability, guys. It's going to deal three attacks that deal magic damage. That's as simple as that. So, as you can see, one, two, three attacks, and it does a pretty much a pretty good amount of damage. Now, we are into his third ability here, Moon Shadow. This ability is actually pretty cool. Deals damage to every single uh, enemy on the field, and also it paralyzes them. The enemies that are the two enemies that are the closest to Tsuki, it's going to paralyze them a little bit longer. And as you can see here, Shirley and the Shaman there are the ones that are closest. The shadows grab everybody, they hit everybody, and those two ones should be paralyzed a little bit longer here. The the skeleton is summoned, it doesn't affect them. Now he gets pulled in by Shirley here. And now he goes into his fourth ability. This one is a little bit trickier, guys. It's a little different than the other one. So let's break it down a little bit further here. So if you can see here, Tsuki increases uh, his weakest ally's physical armor while it speeds up the rate of the moon that changes above his head. So the moon is going to be changing faster and is going to um, increase his weakest ally's physical armor. Now, depending on what the moon is, it is what is going to affect this ability. If the moon changes from full moon to new moon his uh, ally is going to get a cherry blossom now full moon is when it's white new moon is when it's black just so you guys know the cherry blossom shield blocks a certain amount of damage and then 40 percent of the damage dealt by the blow that breaks the shield will be deflected all right so it's going to block now as you can see on the side there it's going to at level 60 which is the max at level 60 is going to absorb 8,120 damage, right? And then it's going to blow back, deal back 40% of that damage. So whoever is able to hit Leon with that much damage, if they can break the shield, they're going to be taking back 40% of that damage for uh, the Cherry Blossom shield. Now, if the moon changes from new moon to full moon, then he gets a Shadow Shield, which is a, a little bit different. The damage dealt by the blow that breaks the sh uh, Shadow Shield will be reduced by 60 so this one does not deflect any damage back but it's going to take a lot more to break the shield so the the hit that hits leon is going to be get reduced by 60 percent which is pretty awesome guys they're both no matter which one you have is uh is pretty cool but the one that you kind of want the most is the cherry blossom one because it's going to be deflecting damage back all right so as we can see now he here he applies the shield to Leon, so Leon is shielded right now. The only part is, is Suki is in front of Leon, so Leon will not be able to uh, absorb any of that damage. That's why, it kind of, in this situation, it wasn't great. But, nonetheless, it's still a really, really good ability now. Now, let's go ahead, guys. He starts in back with his three attacks. Now, he gets into his ultimate, and I'm going to break down his ultimate a little bit because I feel like a lot of people might have a hard time understanding what his ultimate does, but it's not as hard as uh, it seems, all right? It's a long description, but once I break it down, you guys will understand what I'm saying. Um, so, obviously, the ultimate is going to do one of two abilities, and you're going to be able to see which one it is by the avatar behind them. So, all you have to do is watch the moon behind them, guys. Full moon is when it's white. All, right? all you have to remember that when it's white, it's a full moon. A certain amount of damage dealt by the enemy unit is deflected back at them. In addition, if the enemy deals physical damage, they will be disarmed. If they deal magic damage, they will be silenced. All right. So 
if, if, if the moon behind them is white and you will click on his avatar it's going to uh, cause a reflective damage and they, if it gets hit by physical damage it's going to disarm them it's going to reflect the damage back if they get hit by magic damage it's going to silence them that's what the white moon does which is the full moon if it's a new moon which is the black moon as you see right now uh, uh, behind them right now all enemies take damage over time while the enemy with the lowest health is singled out for additional damage the target enemy will uh, continue to take damage for 20 seconds or until they are killed or until they are no longer the enemy with the lowest health all right so this does a lot of different things here but damage over time it does a good amount of damage over time guys it's very nice uh the target enemy and he's going to single out one target randomly and that target will take additional damage for 20 seconds and or until they're killed or until they're no longer the enemy with the lowest health and then uh it just stops at that point okay so let's go ahead and take a look at what this does here so for this ultimate here as you can see i waited until it was a white moon and behind me as you can see now you see the shield behind him he is able to reflect damage upon him now the shield lasts for a good amount of time here and boom there he goes taking some damage he reflected a bunch of the damage back now all right now i'm going into his ultimate once again here and now i'm going to go with the new moon guy so i can deal damage over time and as you can see namtar has the signal right on him he's uh taking damage over time as it's going here so let's take a look at how fast and if you can see it's going actually really fast and boom he's dead that's what the two abilities does guys that's how you distinguish them it's not that difficult now i hope you will kind of get that a little bit more now so let's go back into his ultimate here and i'm gonna go here with reflective damage once again the only problem is most of these heroes are hitting leon here so that reflective damage is not the best but boom there's a shadow attack and this interesting get i mean this battle gets a little interesting here at the end i should have went with more damage over time seeing as they're mostly hitting leon there but nonetheless it works out pretty well from here now he's immune to the abilities because of his shield that we talked about earlier and now he hits with the three attacks dr z is dead firehawk is the only one left now i'm shielded up again i'm immune now i go with damage over time with the black moon and as you can see firehawk's health is going really really low pretty soon he pretty much dies here because of the three magic attacks one two three boom dead firehawk and that's how his abilities work guys all right, so there you have it, guys. That is Suki in a battle for you. I hope that helps you guys out a lot and breaks down his ability so you can make a better decision on how to use him, where to use him, and where he comes uh, really useful. That's pretty much it for this one, guys. I'll leave you off at that, and I will catch you guys on another Soul Hunters video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.